uh, I'm just going to flip through this interstellar gas. Other than to note um, this, um, the method that people use to detect the cold um, uh, neutral in hydrogen gas in the interstellar medium, the technique that people use, this is probably the closest to the our subject matter comes to um, our, my former profession as a researcher in atomic, molecular, and optical physics. The hyperfine structure of uh, atoms, and in this case, hydrogen, is something that um, AMO physicists uh, work with in, in atomic physics. It, uh, um, it's the thing that um, at the uh, last level that determines the energy levels um, that we work with. And um, so this is the schematic diagram for hydrogen atom, for heavier atoms with the uh, more complex nuclear spin and uh, more electrons in the balance of shell. Sometimes these levels can look more uh, different. Um, I'm <laughs> highlighting this uh, mainly not only to just to reminisce on my own experience doing research, but also to point out the level of our knowledge of natural science, knowledge of physics that goes into doing astronomy. Um, so. So unless you know about hyperfine structure, unless you know about the energy splitting that's associated with the interaction of the proton and the electron spin, you wouldn't know to look for this 21 centimeter line. The, this is the in the microwave range, um, microwave region, and people knew to look for this because one, they knew that there must be a lot of hydrogen gas uh, in between stars. The, in the interstellar medium, the hydrogen is the most abundant element. And it's quite difficult to see it when they are cold and neutral. Um, so one, they knew there was something to look for. And two, that uh, this interaction results in a 21 centimeter line. So there's a, something to produce that line. And we, know, we understand the mechanism of it. And we know that hydrogen would produce this. And um, and this is quite important in, uh, I think, even in current astronomical research, just to mapping the interstellar hydrogen. And interstellar gas also reveals a lot about our galaxy. I think I, yeah, I found this image. Um, this is relatively recent. It's something that was published in 2016. Um, in these slides, I'm linking to some of the articles, um, not because it's uh, at the, um, it's necessarily accessible to everyone who uh, might be following it, but in case uh, I'm in case there are people who are interested in what what is the current research in astronomy. So um, and I think most of the links I'm posting are either free access, so you can see the whole article without paying for any of it. Um, again, this is uh, uh, not something that people who are not working on graduate degrees in astrophysics are <laughs> necessarily going. I, I myself don't understand all of it because it wasn't my research area. I understand enough of it to know that uh, this is the map of the, um, this is the map of the hydrogen gas that they mapped using the methods that they describe in the paper. And then it shows this thin disk and oh, um, I think uh, that's just the density. And there's another map that also shows the velocity. And that's what I posted in the slides. So in this velocity map, it shows this. It shows. Um, so this is the color scheme. If you <laughs> squint and look at it, the right side is the positive and left side is negative. And um, you will have to look in the paper to see if a positive means moving away from us or towards us. But assuming positive means moving away from us, what this is showing is they've measured the hydrogen gas and they see that on one side of galaxy it's moving away from us, the other side of galaxy it's moving towards us, and it's showing that um, the rotation of galaxy basically throughout the, the visible region. So. Um, so people are still um, um, doing measurement studies based on that 21 centimeter line, um, that that cold neutral hydrogen gas in interstellar medium um, emits. Um, 